Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am currently in the process of getting ready uh, because I'm going to go watch the women in their FA Cup match against Barnsley at the Hive. Uh, I have some time to make get my makeup, but I thought I'd do a little get ready with me and the match review put together because I watched the game yesterday against Southampton, the men's one that is, and well, <sighs> nothing really to write home about if I'm honest. Uh, Kind of glad I wasn't there because oh, I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is with us and St Mary's, but the last couple times I went there, we played absolutely atrocious. We either lost or we drew. This kind of felt like a loss, obviously, losing our lead uh, towards the end of the game. But let me let, let's not get carried away. So I think the lineup was good, nice and strong. Uh, Tanganga in the left, again, I think it was safer. I mean, it's not his preferred position. But sorry, I need to get ready in the meantime. Um, it's not his preferred position. He's better on the right. But I think until Davies gets back, it's not the worst thing. I, Jan probably would have been a better option there, actually. Uh, I don't know why he didn't play Jan there. But maybe he just wanted to give Jan a break. Um, but yeah, like hopefully Davies can be back soon because I think that could solve some of our problems. As I said, Danganga wasn't bad. There was nothing wrong with him. It's just it's not his strongest place. But the kid's doing amazingly. He does far better there than Sessegnon does. Sessegnon seems to be more of a... a wing play a winger uh than an actual defender in that sense so um so hopefully hopefully davis is back soon but larice was back again which was good uh and as i said i think the lineup was as strong enough as it could be including some rotations which was good uh and to be fair we created the better chances so i think probably had more of the ball i'm not actually sure about the stats um but we definitely created more clear cut chances i don't think Lloris had much to save definitely not in the first half maybe in the second half a bit more but we had the better chances it's just really frustrating that we didn't put them away because we really should we really 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 need to start putting our chances away because christ quite frankly it seems like we're going to leak goals left right and center um whatever we do we're going to concede we can't keep clean sheets so in that case, let's outscore the opponent because right now we're not doing either of those things, which means that we're giving away silly leads or we're going one down or uh, behind. This time it wasn't the case, but our problems would be solved if we kept clean sheets and or if we outscored our opponents. Football's very simple in that sense, but it's easier said than done, granted. It's just, it's so frustrating because we had some beautiful chances. Um, and we have so much talent on that pitch and I don't understand how they... They couldn't get this job done. And yet we have another replay. And this is scheduled for the 5th of February, which is meant to be our week off. <laughs> it's, to be fair, it's our fault. You know, if we would have done the job properly, we'd have done the job we're meant to do, then I, then we would be deserving that break. But we're not. We have to now come back. Obviously, at least it's a home replay. But I'm just, I, it's just so frustrating having all these replays. We did the same thing last season or the season before or whenever we did it, where we just had the away game and then we had the home game. And yeah, it was like it was the season before with Rochdale. Oh God, that was a freezing replay. But um, anyway, it's just, it's really, really concerning. So <clears throat> I wish we wouldn't do that. So that's one thing. And then the first half, as I said, it was just a pretty much nothing. It was, we looked sharper, but we just, just couldn't finish it. And I think that's really, really frustrating the second half was much better and then we finally scored finally uh but then obviously Southampton aren't going to sit back they want this tie just as much as we do they want to win it um and they just kept knocking on the door and kept knocking on the door and we had Eric Dyer ready to come on but we didn't kick the ball out or nothing like that we the ball just didn't go out and then they scored like that's exactly what we missed is someone to just shut up shop um and get the job done but we can't do it and it's very frustrating that we can't see out a lead it's very frustrating that we can't score more goals um it's just uh, infuriating and god knows how Mourinho must feel seeing you know as a manager I'd be so upset that you know you line up the team in a certain way you take the lead you're ready to bring someone on but then they go and they've been equalized um I just don't know like we're definitely missing that Musa Dembele replacement. That's why we've been great to have Dyer on there after a while. He's not the same player, obviously, but still defensive-minded. Um, and Dembele is obviously in and out of the squad, not fully fit. As I said, I think Davies will help a ton because when he was playing uh, before he got injured, he like it really, really worked out with Mourinho's tactics. He really liked being able to push Ori up, who actually I think had a decent game. Um, I think he's looking really good under Mourinho, which is brilliant. Um, it's very, very reassuring. Jetson started the game. He's looking good, but 
I mean, it'll be time before he'll properly settle in, but La Celso, on the other hand, he finally got his song. Oh, Gio La Celso. Oh, that was good. I'm very glad that he's finally got his well-deserved song because... <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, as you can see, I'm still a bit ill, but getting better. I slept tons last night, so that's a good start. But anyway, I'm just blabbering. Um, so yeah, La Salsa was brilliant. I'm so, so glad that he's working out for us. But other than that, there are so many concerns still. Like, we can't keep leaking goals like this all the time. We're just going to keep making it harder for ourselves. But hey, I guess look at the bright side of life. We're still in the tie, and we've brought it back to our stadium. And right now, we're pretty much... I'm not saying we're on form, but we're doing all right at home. Uh, much better than we are away. So, uh... You know, it's the positive, and to be fair, it's going to be on a week where we won't have any weekend games, so it's not like we're jam-packing our schedule. Um, so it could be worse. It always could be worse. So you got to be grateful for what you've got. Uh, you've got to make the most of what you've been dealt with, and uh, things could be a lot, lot harder. I think a lot of fans are being a l really harsh, uh, considering every situation. I can understand where they're coming from, but then there are other things that I'm like, but you have to consider what you've been given and what you've got. So compared to that, things could be a lot worse. But anyway, I'm going to go and get ready, uh, continue to get ready for the women's game and change my mindset around that because that should be really fun um, for playing against Barnsley. So hopefully the win's in the bag. Really excited, really looking forward to that. Hope you enjoy this video and I'll catch you for my women's vlog. Come on, you Spurs.